Social media is changing the way we communicate. In today's ever-evolving world, you have to be able to deliver the right content via the right channel to the right recipient at the right time. And not only that, you have to be able to track engagement across communications channels to ensure that your messages are having maximum impact. Real Magnet has developed a deep integration with the key social media channels, which allows you to manage all aspects of your email marketing and social media initiatives from one integrated platform. The integration focuses on four core areas. View. You can view all your social feeds, Twitter and Facebook, from within the Real Magnet application. No more going to different sites to see this information. Create. You can create emails, tweets, and posts to your Facebook fan page, all with a few simple clicks from within the Real Magnet application. Deploy. You can easily schedule, schedule your emails and posts to go out at the same time or schedule each independently for maximum impact. And finally, track. All engagement metrics from email opens and clicks to retweets and mentions to comments are all collected in one place and provide key insights into your marketing initiatives. Let's log in and see how we accomplish this. On every page in the Real Magnet application, you'll see a new red icon and this is how you access your social media accounts that you've provisioned from within Real Magnet. On any page, I can simply click it to open it and click it to, um, to close it and think of it as kind of your social media world layered over your real magnet world. Here what, I, what I've done is you can configure and provision any number of Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts to view from within the real magnet application. And you can see here I can toggle between Facebook and Twitter. And here on the Twitter side, I see basically my Twitter stream just like I would at Twitter's website. So instead of having to go out to Twitter to view all this, I can view it all from within the Real Magnet application. All the tweets that have been posted, all the mentions that have been made, any retweets that have been done, I can just check out right from looking at it here. And in addition, I can tag something as a favorite, I can retweet it directly from here if I wanted to, and I can even directly reply to this tweet just like I can do from Twitter. Similarly, the same thing can happen um, from Facebook. I can like something here. I can comment on it directly and I can view all the comments that are associated with it, all from within the Real Magnet application. So as you can see, there's a tremendous amount of convenience not having to go out to Twitter, not having to go out to Facebook. Here you're in Real Magnet, you're creating messages, you're looking at tracking, you might be working on something else and you can always see all the social media activity right from within the application. But not only do we give you the ability to view it, we also give you the ability to directly post from our application to those social media channels. So for example, by simply clicking this post icon, I can tweet directly from here. And when I tweet, it's exactly as if I were posting it directly from Twitter. I can create any number of tweets. I can put links in that are trackable, which we'll talk about in just a minute because it has a lot of uh, potential implications for tracking. That tweet I can associate with a real magnet message, and again, that has implications for tracking, and even put it into categories, which we'll talk about later when we really delve into the tracking, of tracking by category and comparing categories or campaigns between them. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to view all of your social media activity from within the real magnet application, Twitter, Facebook, etc., and directly post content. And we call this really our quick post. But what you may want to do is you may want to actually create, um, let's say, an email message. And from that email message, you may want to have sort of social um, media components of that message. And what's a good example of that? Let's say you send out a newsletter. And what you want to do is when you create that newsletter, you also want to tweet that that newsletter is available. And you may even want to post a particular story from that newsletter onto Facebook. So here we are in uh, a regular email message and we see here we're in the HTML version and as everybody knows we've got, we can edit the text version of it, but now with social enabled you'll see a new link called social version. When we click on this, what we are is we're still in the same message, but now what we can do is we can create any number of social media content that's associated with this message. And as you can see here, these are all the ones that have, be, that have been created in the past. So what does that do? Now what I've done is, is I can create my email message and now I have the actual tweets and Facebook posts associated with that 
directly with that message. If I want, I can simply type one new, but if I want to repurpose the content that I've already created in my email message, I simply click that icon. I get the text version of that. I can simply copy and paste, and I've created my social versions of that message. Now, once you have a social version of that message, there's all sorts of things. You can send it at the same time, at delayed times, and for tracking, you can see all of the results in one place, which we'll look at in just a minute. So now we've created our uh, email message and we've created our social versions of that message. So now what we want to do is deploy it. So now what we can do is we go ahead and we go to the familiar send page of that message. And here we have our normal um, parameters for setting up the email job. I put in my from field, I put in my subject line, I schedule when I want it sent, et cetera, et cetera. But now you can see here that if there are um, a social version associated with this, what I can do is I see all of the social um, versions here. All of the ones that are going to Facebook, all of the ones that are going to Twitter. So from one page, I can deploy all that content automatically. I don't have to go and send my email and then log into Twitter and tweet and then log into uh, Facebook and post it if I want to schedule it. So you might have a strategy where you say, what I want to do is I want to send out my email and then at the exact same time, I want to post all of my social media content to those channels. So from this page, you set up your email job, and as you can see here, with one click of the checkbox, all of these social um, versions, or really social posts, will automatically be posted at the exact same time that email is sent. Think of the convenience and how easy that is. When you set up your email job, it could be a week from now or, or tomorrow, when that email goes out, you automatically tweet and you automatically send out uh, or post to Facebook. So the convenience is tremendous. Now. You may also have a strategy that says, you know what, I don't want to send it all at the same time. And we provide that flexibility as well. For each social um, component, whether it's a tweet or a post to your Facebook page, you can schedule that independently of one another and independently of the email. So you have maximum flexibility to deploy that content either all at once or staggered as you see fit. So now we've actually um, created our, our email messages, we've created our social content, and we've deployed it. Now we want to look at track, because that is really where the value of a lot of this is. Is Sure, it's convenient to be able to view all my social content from within Real Magnet, and yes, it's valuable for me to be able to schedule those posts in coordination, but the real value is in the tracking results. Because you've sent those messages from the Real Magnet platform on the email side, on the Twitter side, <clears throat> and on the Facebook side, all of that tracking can be integrated into one place. So let's look at it. On the Reports tab, you have a series of other sub-tabs here, Twitter, Facebook, Real Magnet, Comparative, and Categories, and we'll look at each one. So for each one of these tabs, we have a set of reports. So the first one is, let's look at the trends. And basically what that does is in a period of time, it'll show you on a day-by-day -day basis how many tweets you've sent out. That can be very valuable to just sort of track, sort of, am I tweeting a lot, a little bit? It's sort of hard to do it if you don't have a report that visually displays it this way. Additionally, every click that's come from a tweet, I can track it as well. So on a daily basis, how many clicks am I getting from my tweets? Tremendously valuable. The main report, however, I think is what we refer to as the engagement metrics report. Basically, for every tweet that you tweet from the platform, we'll show you the tweet, the number of retweets that were generated from that tweet, the number of clicks that were clicked from that tweet, the date that it was posted, the account that it was sent from, and again, whether it was associated with a magnet mail message or a category. So what I can do is I can sort these and I can say, find me all of the ones that have clicked the most. Think of the power of that. From all my tweets over time or in a certain time frame, show me the ones that have garnered the most success, the most retweets, the most clicks. And you can do that by simply viewing it here in this grid. Now, additionally, you can drill down. And what we do is we've provided you some uh, additional metrics that we believe are extremely valuable. So here we're going to give you an overview. It'll show you the name of the um, uh, post, 
when it was posted, the date and time, what account, that is the internal account that you've created. It'll show you how many retweets there were. And what we do here is we represent the number of retweets as a percentage of the overall followers on Twitter. So think about that. That's a very interesting metric to be able to use to say, oh, on this day I had 100 um, uh, Twitter followers and I got 10 clicks. Well, that's 10%. Similarly here, we'll show you how many clicks as a percentage of how many followers you had. We'll also show you the actual retweet, because again, we had one retweet, and all of the clicks. And we're going to show you what time of day those clicks happen. And again, that can be very insightful information to be able to sort of pinpoint how and when people are interacting with your content. We also give you a calendar view. And again, that is sort of simply uh, the ability to see in a calendar format when you've tweeted. It can be very valuable just to sort of get a sense of visually, I've tweeted a lot on this day, but perhaps not on that day, etc. We also will, will provide some geolocation data. From where are people accessing this social media from? And that can be extremely important depending on the type of content you're sending out. Here you can see we have interactions from California and sort of the New York, Maryland area. Additionally, we provide you with statistics on how people are interacting with that content, whether they are at interacting with it via computer or via mobile devices. And as we all know, as this world is becoming more mobile, people accessing your content either on the email side or the social media side via mobile devices is only going to increase. This report gives you a good indication of sort of where you stand and more importantly the trends so you may want to adjust your content over time. So with Facebook, we have sort of the same similar reports, trends, engage, engagement metrics, etc. However, we also give you the ability to look at your Facebook insight reports. So this would be exactly as if you would go to Facebook and look at the insight reports, but here we provide it all from within the Real Magna platform. I can show reports like my new likes, my daily post feedbacks, daily page activity, page content feedback, active users, etc. All the insightful reports that Facebook provides, we are providing from within the Real Magnet application. And that has tremendous value. You don't have to go out when you're doing your metrics analysis. What is successful? Email, social media. From within social media, is it Facebook? Is it Twitter? If it is Twitter, which tweets? If it's Facebook, which posts? So these reports are extremely valuable in helping you identify those trends and those other important developments. Now also we give you on the Real Magnet side all of the different reports on emails, highest open rates, highest click-through rates, etc. So you can really do a head-to-head -head comparison between the email channel and the social media channel. And that leads us directly into this comparative reports. Here on comparative side, what we'll do is we'll give you literally a comparison over a time frame, sort of a default to the last 30 days. How many tweets have I sent on a daily basis? How many Facebook posts have I had? And how many real magnet messages have I posted? And again, that's not the actual number of recipients you sent to, but the actual number of messages that you created uh, in that time frame. And for any one of these, I can simply remove the line to get a more clearer picture of what I'm looking at. So the trends report is extremely important. The overall statistics one shows us from a, within that time frame, again, how many real magnet messages, how many Facebook posts, and how many tweets, etc. And it breaks it down in a very visual way to give you an understanding of, okay, here's all of my content that I am posting on the email side, on the social side. How does it break down? Am I, am, am I, am I sending more emails? Am I, am I tweeting more? Am I, am I posting more? And then also, not just that, but clicks. And this is where it gets extremely interesting. Right now, in one report, you can see in the last 30 days how many clicks you got from each channel. How many clicks did I get from my email messages? How many clicks did I get from Facebook? And how many clicks did I get from Twitter? Now think of the power of that and think of the insight you gain by being able to view that information in a simple, quick report. And again, here if you want to break these out, there's some, a couple of visual tools that help you um, 
look at it in a couple of different ways. And of course, on any of these reports, I can modify it. I can change my date range. And if I wanted to, I can change the different accounts. So now, not only can I see overall Twitter, but I may want to take out an account or add one. So we give you full flexibility to manage those reports. Now, we talked a little bit before about categories when you're posting. And a category is kind of a, um, a concept that we've come up with to help you do analysis on a group of either email messages and or social uh, media content. So let's think about that. We give you the ability to create any type of categories here. And a category, again, is simply a collection of content, emails, social posts, etc. And how can that be valuable? Well, let's think of something if we create something called summer promotion, where we have in that summer promotion category or campaign, we have X number of emails and X number of social posts. So for these, I can see exactly how well everything performed from within that category. Now, you, what, you're, what you're able to do then is you can set up any number of campaigns promotional campaigns, a campaign or a category for an annual meeting promotion. Or you can do side to side. And here you can see, again, how many clicks did it generate? How many posts and tweets and messages have I sent out? We give you that same sort of similar report in that campaign overview. Within this grouping of summer promotion, it contains emails, it contains social media posts. I have 12 messages on the Real Magnet side. 10 um, Facebook posts and 11 tweets. And these are how many clicks it generated. Think of the power of that to be able to aggregate all in one place. You define what content gets part of that category of campaign and see exactly here what impact it has. And then finally, we give the ability to compare across categories. So here I can select one category another category, and I can see side by side how each one of these things perform in terms of messages, in terms of clicks, etc. So that gives you an overall um, introduction to the reporting capabilities of that social media integration. And as you can see, with the ability of layering the social world in terms of viewing and posting, and the deep analytics and reporting that we give you, we're very excited to be able to offer this to you um, and for you to really be able to gain true insights into all of your outbound communications efforts. Thanks very much.